We are all about beer, well, and we've had some coffee, too. Uh, the Great American Beer Festival underway right here in the Mile High City. Friend of the show, back again this year, Jim Cook. Good to see you, sir. Uh, and, and we've been talking. You said you started going to the Great American Beer Fest 34 years ago. In 1984. And there were 90-some beers. Now there's upwards of 4,000. And you had mentioned, I had asked, how many of those initial brewers are still in business besides you? Yeah. You know, very little. Very few. It's like the pioneers. You mm -hmm. know, how do you find them? Well, they got the arrows in their back. <laughs> they didn't make it. I tell you but what. But there were a few of us who made it from and, those early and days. And you made it because you found your notoriety there, and then, boy, Sam Adams really exploded. Yeah. And here you are back for your 34th year with some new new flavors? Absolutely. And, you know, we've got the original. This is Sam Adams Boston Lager. 34 years ago, this got picked as the best beer in America. Uh -huh. And that kind of put us on the map, and it woke people up. And it blew your full-time job, didn't it? Well, From there, your whole job life changed. Was drinking, so it actually <laughs> laid, allowed me to go pro. <laughs> there you did, and you. And now, what's over here? I said, hey, you got a Bronco beer. Yeah, this is Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Beautiful colors. It's very beautiful. It's become the largest selling Oktoberfest beer in the world. Now, what's it going to taste like? Is that what's in here? Yeah. Okay. You know what you're going to get out of Sam Adams Oktoberfest? It's all about the malt. It's going to be. Malty, rich, smooth, sweet, There's a lot of foam on there. Creamy. Now I'm all stuck well, in my face. That's a sign of a good beer. It good is a beer sign of a good beer. It's going to have a nice crown of foam on it, and that foam is going to stay. It's going to cling to the glass. Mm -hmm. It's going to cling to my nose. It'll even go above the glass. Look at that. Just barely hold on. Now, when you're at the Great American Beer Fest, are you trying new beers? Oh, yeah. Are, so is some, are some of these brewers going to see you standing in line, and they're like, and that's a guy from Sam Adams. Like, what's he well, doing over here? Yeah, You're testing out the competition. Years, I know a whole lot of brewers, so I know most of the brewers. So and it, for me, it's like sharing talk the fruit of your labors. It's an act of communion. And we had mentioned, we got very little time, but you had a trick if you're going to the Great American Beer Fest and you want to sample more beers but also try to remain batch. sober. Yes. What's your tip? You're going to think this is totally weird. All right. We did so, in the break when I was like, no, we yeah, got to talk about that. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah. There's, here's my professional drinking tip, and it's just weird, but um, if you put a teaspoon of active dried yeast in, in your, your stomach when you're drinking, yeah. and it only lasts for about a half hour, you got to replenish it, it will break down some of the alcohol in your stomach because there's an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. Sure. Yeast in the yeast. Now, before we go, there's a side effect to that, though, and it's not getting drunk. No, bad farts. <clears throat> there you have it, Jim. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Happy Cheers. Friday. Great American Beer Fest. That tip was from Jim himself. Uh, so, Ernie, Jen, we're going to send it back into you. A lot of people don't know that. Dry yeast <laughs> in my tummy. That's, that's going <laughs> to look like this. Anyway, that's a great tip. And, Jim, thanks for coming again. You're just wonderful. We're following breaking news out of...